Pachacucha 30, my dissertation, and Hokotono again, Fist of the North Star. Uh, two subjects I could talk about pretty much indefinitely. Um, they've been what have occupied my, my time this week, even though I should... The dissertation I should be doing, the other stuff, not so much. Uh, so yeah, my dissertation is kind of looking at film noir from then to now. Uh, starting with stuff in the 30s, looking at how it moved into neo-noir, looking at then moving on to how it is in like video games and stuff like that. So I was effectively looking at Max Payne. Uh, film noir uh, is so many different things. The stark contrasts of morality play off the stark contrasts visually. Sin City by Frank Miller, excellent example of great art, great story, and it really is kind of dark, both both figuratively and, and in other ways. Uh, Double Indemnity is a great example of the kind of dialogue you should expect. Walton F. at the beginning of the film uh, confesses to killing a guy saying, uh, I did it for the money, I did it for the girl, I didn't get the girl, and I didn't get the money. Pretty, isn't it? And that pretty much sums up what you're about to watch for the next hour and a half. Uh, the Maltese Falcon with Humphrey Bogart. Um, he's a de private detective. The film starts with his, the death of his partner. He gets wrapped up in a massive conspiracy. At the end of it, he's the only one who avoids being dead or in jail, but he doesn't have anything really to show for it except his hard-earned cynical freedom. Jack Nicholson, Chinatown, uh, neo-noir or film noir, depending on who you ask. Definitely of its time, in colour. Uh, he goes on on a kind of... He, he uncovers a conspiracy, tries to save the girl, um, gets his nose cut and doesn't save the girl. Max Payne 2 specifically, what I'm ending my dissertation looking at. Uh, very fatalist, um, very violent. Again, there's a conspiracy, there's a girl that needs helping, uh, and it doesn't end up very well either. Um, watching Let's Plays on YouTube has been good for kind of <coughs> gathering resource material. I watched originally watched the Let's Plays just out of um, just wanting to know what happened in what Max Payne one and two because I actually played three first, so I've kind of probably got the best out of all three games. So running Max Payne through a little definition of film noir, uh, Mona Sachs, the femme fatale, meets the main character Max Payne. Uh, she's usually involved with an older, powerful man, Woden, uh, who's looking to make money. She's a hit man lady. Uh, Things tend to go wrong, and the main character tends to be abused in the relationship and ends up doing bad things. Uh, Max Payne's police detective gets killed in cold blood. Uh, it's very... you see it happen, which is juxtaposes how film noir used to be, which it was um, usually behind the scenes because they weren't allowed to show that stuff. Uh, interesting comparison. So, Fist of the North Star, Hokotono Ken. Uh, there's a new version and an old version. I prefer the old version. Set made in the 80s, it somehow makes the mistakes more enjoyable and it makes what they do right better. Um, yeah. So I was introduced to Kenshiro. Uh, he, it's set in a post-apocalyptic future. It's, it's basically Mad Max. Bruce Lee <laughs> in Mad Max. Uh, Kenshiro is smashing buildings down as he walks past them. One falls on his head and he keeps walking as it falls on top of him. This guy. He's a serious dude. Uh, yeah, you, you Google things like Kenshiro versus tank and you will see a bare-chested man fight a tank with his bare hands and win. Hokuto no Ken. Hokuto Shin Ken is the greatest martial art there is. Ah, so awesome. Uh, so, it's over a hundred episodes and usually it's kind of formulaic. Kenshiro fights some sort of nobody who's who's a little bit of a, a bad guy they've all got their little gimmick you won't remember them once they're, they've gone by but they are memorable in their own right and the, the kind of brutal punishment he he dishes out is is quite entertaining uh the, the reason one of the things the 70s manga does anime does a lot is like it screws up proportion and it just makes things more awesome dudes get massive before they die when people throw punches they seem to get bigger than like 
the combination of both people's bodies combined. Uh, a mainstay of the series is Kenshiro's stone face cold stare. I love this. Every time he pulls it, it's 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 more hilarious than the last. Uh, he he is such a nice guy, and he spends ninety five percent of his time just murdering people. It's just ex literally explosively. Uh, but the cast is also a serious bunch of dudes. Rao, his older brother, who is who has a horse that is huge and he is huge and he is a perfect rival for Kenshiro, a man who seems to be pretty much, you know, in a, in a fight versus a tank, he wins. In a fight versus a building, he wins. Toki, younger brother of Rao, uh, Jesus, Kung Fu Jesus, um, doesn't use strong arm style, more Tai Chi, uses an enemy's force against him. So him, Kenshiro and Rao, brothers of destruction, truly. Uh, one of the thing, another one of the reasons I love Hokuto Ken is how Japanese it is. Like the faces, all the nobodies pull with their no eyebrows in their their silly smirks. It's it's like no masks. Uh, I just I just you know they talk in Japanese and silly voices. It's it's everything about this show I love, and that's just one of those random things. Uh, so what do I need to do? Uh, well, I need to pass my course, and that means I need to get away from all the stuff that distracts me. Go to university, do the work. Uh, the main reason I'm so far behind is because the politics of the course just keep offending me to the point where I'm like, you know what, I can't do this. I just need to leave it for one month, leave the politics out of it, go do what i got to do, <sighs> and and then I can get back to the serious business of, of manly, manly men crying because, you know, Country Bear Mountain has been crushed. That brings us to the end of Pecha Kucha 30. I will see you next time.